Gen Con, the premier gaming event of the year. This is where gamers come to experience the best four days of gaming. In this video, we will show you one of the new games featured at Gen Con. Here at Gen Con 2012, Coleman here and I, with uh, our joint venture of Guillotine Games, we're putting out Zombie Side, a zombie survival horror board game. It's a cooperative game, one to six players. You can play by yourself if you want to. The game comes with a lot of components. It has 71 miniatures, including 65 zombies and six survivors. It is a horror game in the fact that you're dealing with zombies and you know things that want to eat your brains. As far as it being a survival game, is that most of the games have a way of making the game get even harder and harder and harder as it goes along. The longer you wait to achieve whatever mission you're playing, whatever scenario you have, if you're waiting too long and your guys start getting more experienced and you're, you're off in zombies left and right, more zombies show up. Larger numbers of zombies, faster zombies, and eventually all the way to the Abomination, which is the scariest zombie on the board and it's almost impossible to kill. I believe that most of the board game companies come from a board game background and they add components to it. Whereas we come from a miniature background, so we take the miniature pieces very seriously. These are all sculpted by some of the best sculptors in the world with uh, very, very good uh, miniature companies. Uh, and it comes with a lot of it. One of the things that I really like about it is it's a little open-ended in the way that there are lots of components in the game that if you're an inventive person and you wanted to, you could invent your own scenario or use one of the blank character cards, make your own character. Uh, I know one of my close friends is uh, putting together a, a squad of uh, like, mer like paramilitary guys and he's gonna do a scenario of like cleaning out the zombies from town. And it really kind of benefits to people who can think outside the box, both in gameplay and in setup. It's different. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a true co-op game. Everybody have to work together. Most of the customers we talk to, the first few games that they play with the first scenario, they will fail. And soon they'll figure out how to do it, manage the noise, manage the, the, where the zombies come out, and uh, fulfill the mission. I've never had a single game play the same way. So, if, especially if you're like a, a family that has like board game night, or your local your local gaming club does board game night, or something like that, you can play every week, and it'll be different every time. Everybody needs zombies, right? So 